All right, so here we have our SAS controller, our SAS SATA controller. This is our LSI down here controller. We've got our fan up against the heat sink, so that will cool it. And then we have our four controller cables going to this small box in which we have laptop hard drives stuck in there. We've got little bitty cardboard um, dividers in there that protects the electronics as you pull out the hard drive you can see there's a lot of electronics on here that is exposed so as you plug in your laptop hard drives make sure that you have a cardboard protector between each and every hard drive as you put it in a little cardboard box this is a great innovative idea it's very inexpensive great idea to hold we've got four laptop hard drives each of them with the SAT, the uh, data controller cable hooked up. We also have a SAS, I mean a SATA power splitter. So if you look down here, we have one SATA cable, and then I have a connector that goes in it, and what it does is it splits this power connector into two. So I have two of those, one here and one here. And that allows me to take these two power cables and split them into four. So now I have a, a power cable for each laptop hard drive. So now we have the data cables connected. And we've got each hard drive inside. You can see each hard drive in there. And they're protected by this piece of cardboard. This is very, very important. We want to protect that exposed electronics so that it doesn't touch any kind of metal. Uh, you can do a couple things. You can set it down like this inside your 7800. Uh, you can just be very, very careful. Make sure that you have it on a stable, that it's stable, so it, it doesn't fall over while you're running. Once you've got everything set up, you've got your power connectors, your, your data connectors. You've got your fan set up. You can fire this unit up. So each of these little hard drives, because we decided to go with laptop hard drives simply because they draw, they draw significantly less power supply uh, watts rather than the regular size hard drives. So in the SAS SATA lab experiment, you're going to use laptops, you're going to use four laptops, and you're going to use the controller to create RAID 5s, uh, RAID 1s, whatever whatever type of array configuration you're going to do in the lab, you're going to use these laptop hard drives instead. Alright, so let's watch it boot up. We've got the controller in there now. We're watching the HP BIOS come up. I'm hitting the space bar. I'm going to be using, here you can see the LSI firmware coming up on the screen. And it's doing the initialization of the adapter and looking at the devices connected to it. We're going to do a control H to get into the software of it. So it's doing, so we're going to do a control H and we'll get into the actual software of the controller. And in this software is where you're actually going to configure your different RAID arrays. And so there we are. Uh, we're actually into the firmware of you can click start and you can begin to see all the various um, options that you have. You have controller properties, scan devices, virtual drives, uh, etc. Configuration, logical view. So this is where you're going to go in and set up say a RAID, RAID 0 or RAID 5 or uh, whatever else, whatever other uh, configuration you want for the hard drives. So this is where you'll set those up. And it, notice it sees all four of those small uh, laptop hard drives ready to go. So they're basically ready to go and ready to do what you want. Be aware that this has a alarm system. So when you configure this array and you're done with your lab and you haven't erased your configuration, when the next student comes and hooks up this, these hard drives to this array, immediately an alarm is going to go off. It's a beeping sound off the card because it's going to look for a something wrong. It's going to see something, a problem. 
And that's what the controller is supposed to do. It's supposed to make an audible alert to let you know, the network administrator, that there's something wrong with the RAID system. So be sure at the end of your lab that you flush all your configuration information. Otherwise, the next student, when he plugs in, is going to immediately have a, a, a warning beep, a uh, very irritating uh, sound that's going to come out of his computer, and he's going to be struggling to figure out what is this noise until he gets in there and gets rid of the configuration of the existing array. So when you're done with your lab, make sure you clear your configuration. So when you do your lab, make sure you come and get your cardboard box, your protector dividers that protect the electronics in each drive. You'll get four two and a half inch hard drive, laptop hard drives, and you'll get cable splitters that will split your SATA power so that we can run all four off of two SATA power connectors. And you're ready to rock.